Hey, what's up? Carl here. Today, what's new in the Red John universe? Yes, it's been a while since my first video, which took a look at Red Giant's then new app called Red Giant Universe. You can go and check it over there. And since then, Red Giant have released the new version, version 1.1. But what's new with it? Well, Red Giant have added nine new effects as well as updates to existing effects. Let's go and take a look at the free effects as those are the ones I use the most. And first up is a luminance noise tool. A great plugin for generating noise on your clips. The cool thing is that you can select the blend mode for the noise as well as various other parameters to control. Like the amount, contrast, scale, persistence, opacity and whether or not to super sample the effect. This is probably the better of the noise effects that I've used, mainly due to the amount of control you have over it. Next up is a compound blur effect, which is quite a unique blur effect in that it uses another clip or generator to determine what the blur will look like. There are a whole bunch of controls to tweak what the eventual effect looks like, such as quality of the blur, size, the mask channel and scale, etc. I can definitely see this one making its way into my workflow quite comfortably. And finally, a gamma and color conversion tool. This is a seriously cool one to get some really cool and trippy effects from. As the name suggests, you can convert the color and gamma channels to various other settings, but you can also change the output channel settings. I really do like this one a lot as the color channel conversion is something that I can use a lot. On the premium side of things, Red Giant have added a few cool effects. First of which is Glimmer. A pretty cool plugin that adds some starburst glimmer to the highlights of your clips reminiscent of the same effect in Final Cut 7. Next is Carousel, which harks back to the 70s 8mm film effect, with the squarish aspect ratio and the Instagram-like filters. This is a pretty cool effect to get that vintage homemade movie look. They've also added some effects to existing collections, like Tune It Sketch to the Tune It roster. These collections have also received a few updates. The already popular effects maker Crumple Pop have added their split screen blocks to the universe, which is good news for you Adobe users, as this is the first time these effects have been opened up to you guys. I really do like these split screen blocks because of how simple they are to use. Find the split screen you want, drag it into your timeline, then via the inspector window, select which clips you want to fill the drop zones with. It's really that simple. So all around Red Giant delivering on their promise to keep updating their ever expanding universe. Pretty cool. I'm really enjoying the stuff coming from Red Giant. So do go check out their universe app. It's free to download and free to use. If however you do want to go to the premium side of things, you can do so on a monthly, yearly or lifetime membership basis. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching today's video though. If you liked what you saw, click that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please head over to the sub button over there. My social links are below. But as for me, Carl, see you guys next week. Take care.